Hi everyone, welcome back. So yes, I'm in a bit of a different setting today, in a different bathroom. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Wild Deodorant. Ta-da! Looks a bit like this. So it's very different, this deodorant. It's actually very natural, um, all made of completely natural products. It's all about having less chemicals on your skin. As you know, that is my ethos on my channel. Um, I make my own deodorant as well. And this has kind of similar ingredients to the deodorant that I make. So it's gonna be a very honest, a non-biased review, and I'm gonna use it myself. I like to really show everyone every detail about the product. So I have literally just got out of the shower. Sorry if it's a bit steamy in here. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you the box and what comes inside. So I'm just gonna open it up and have a little look inside. And it says, arms up, waist down. So I'm guessing that's all about um, less wastage for the environment. On the back here, it has all the ingredients and I will list them below as well. And it shows you how to pull the deodorant case apart. Okay, so as you can see on the box, it says single use, Plastic, aluminium and cruelty free. So obviously this case is refillable. So this case comes in three different colours. So you can get it in aqua, coral and silver. I've gone for the, um, I've gone for the coral colour. So they now do it in five different smells. So I've chosen the rose blush. They also do it in mint fresh, which has got peppermint in it, which smells amazing. Rose Blush, Bergamot Rituals, and Orange Zest, and Coconut Dreams. So there's five different smells that you can have. Um, if you order one of these, you will get three refills of these. Um, because mine is gifted, I've just got the one, just to show you guys. So it's £25 for the whole set. Um, obviously you get to keep this and you just keep refilling it. The refills are £6 each on the website and you choose three at a time, so that's £18. So therefore the case only works out at £7, but obviously it means you can keep it. Um, unlike some deodorant cases where you have to throw them away. So I'm just going to take it out of the box now and show you what it looks like properly. As you can see it says pinch the side buttons to slide the case apart. Pop the refill onto the little button here. Pop it all back in together and twist the base a few times. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that now. Let's take it out of the case. It's quite, it's not heavy, but it's not too light, but it's like a nice, it's a nice feel. Um, slightly bigger than a normal deodorant, I would say, but also nice and flat, so it'll fit in your bag nicely. So I'm just gonna pinch the two sides here that say well done, and that's cute. And then slide the deodorant case off the base. That's easy enough. Now there's a little like ridge here and that is what your refill is going to sit on. So this is the refill. Mm, it's not really nice actually. And as you can see the bottom of the refill has a little hole like this and that fits perfectly onto our little ridge on there. Um, obviously if you push that it would come off so we need it to be in the, in the case. So we're just going to pop the case back on, squeeze the sides again, wait till it clicks, let's pop the top off, and there is our deodorant in there. So it's quite low down in the case at the moment, so we have to twist it a few times before we use it. Now, like I say, I've just been in the shower, so I haven't applied any moisturiser or deodorant or anything like that yet. I wanted to make this a completely fair review. So what I'm going to do is just simply apply it to my underarm. I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five applications on that side. This is rose blush and it actually smells really floral, but it's not too much. You know, sometimes you can have like a very strong scent. Okay, let's apply it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm just going to see how that's settled into my skin. It's actually not that oily. Compared to my one I made from home, which obviously only has coconut oil as a base, it's not too oily. Um, you can tell something's on the skin. I'm just going to rub it in a little bit. Um, you don't have to do that. It feels really soft, but it doesn't feel sticky at all, which is nice. And like I say, it's not too greasy. It's, it's very subtle, the rose smell. Personally, I would like the smell to be a little bit stronger on the rose blush, simply because I like to be able to smell my deodorant when it's on. Um, some people don't. Some people don't like any fragrance whatsoever. So I guess this is good because it's in between. 
but personally for me, um, maybe there could be something on the website where we could choose the strength of the fragrance or something like that. Okay, so at the moment it smells nice and fresh. Um, it hasn't gone down that much from the two applications, it's still um, above. You can tell that there is a powdery texture in there, but it's not lumpy at all. So what I'm going to do is just to protect the deodorant, I'm going to twist it back the other way, so it goes down a little bit, pop this back on. Okay, so because there are coconut oil and sunflower seed wax, um, what else is in here? Cocoa seed butter, all these kind of things can melt in extreme heat. So please keep this somewhere cool and dry. Obviously if it's a really hot day, please don't take it around with you or store it anywhere where it's in direct sunlight. Now as you can see, sorry about the crack on my phone, it's 1447 on, I don't know if you saw that, it's 1447 on the 24th of May. So I'm gonna go help my friend who's literally just moved in around the corner. She's moving some furniture around. It's gonna get very hot probably. I'm gonna get quite sweaty. I'm gonna help her move some stuff around and I'm gonna let you know how the deodorant gets on. I'll tell you if there's been any stains on any of my clothing, whether you can still smell the product, whether you can just smell me, um, how sweaty I am, all those kinds of things. So I'm gonna leave it at least three or four hours. I'll be honest with you, by the end of the day, I do smell. All my friends will tell you, I don't know if it's my hormones or something like that, but everyone's different. Some people sweat more than others. If you sweat, you're gonna smell. So I'm gonna let you know how this deodorant actually works for me, someone that personally suffers with um, slight smells at the end of the day. Yeah, I'll come back um, a little bit later on and let you know how I get on. Obviously, I'll be dressed by then and somewhere else. I might be at home and um, I might still be around my friend's house, but either way, I'll definitely let you know and give you my honest opinion and my honest review. So I'll see you a bit later. Five hours later. Hi everyone, so it's a bit later on in the day now, I'm back in my own house. Um, I've just borrowed my mum's phone just to show you the date and time, I don't know if you can see that, because I'm on my phone at the moment. So I didn't help my friend move house in the end because she'd already done it. <laughs> she'd already done everything. So I decided to do a dance class instead because I was like, right, I need to test out this deodorant. So I did an hour, just over an hour dance class. I've changed out of my dance wear now, um, I've just put this on, just so you can see the armpit. Um, I have had a smell and... I'll be honest with you, it's not really bad. It's not like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Um, I can't really smell the rose anymore. It kind of faded a little bit quickly. Um, so yeah, as I said before, I would just like a tiny bit more smell to be um, lingering a little bit longer, just because I like to smell my deodorant throughout the day. I was really hot after the dance class, but I wasn't like majorly sweating. And I'll be honest with you, it wasn't that wet underneath. It actually was okay. So, I feel like in terms of comparison to sprays, it does better because when you spray, you can't actually tell where you've applied it unless you spray, then rubbed it in. But with this product, where you're um, wiping on with a stick, but I feel like it covers more of a surface area than like a spray would, because the spray is very like direct, isn't it? Don't know if I'm explaining that well at all, but I know what I mean. <laughs> in terms of my own smell, it's not great, <laughs> but that's just me. Like I said, I swear a lot. So obviously the product isn't a miracle product. It doesn't stop your own sweat from coming out completely. It doesn't block your pores. Um, so obviously I have got a tiny bit of discoloring on my top here from my own sweat. But I don't think it's natural to completely stop your pores from sweating because that's what our bodies want to do. That's what our bodies would naturally do when we are hot, we sweat. The difference between this product and other products I would say is it's less sticky. So because it is a stick deodorant, like most stick deodorants, they're not as sticky um, as if you put on a roll on for example, or they're very sticky and they tend to stay wet for a long time, they don't tend to sink in. This I would say sinks in pretty quickly I'd say. I mean if you're going to put deodorant on, any kind of deodorant, and then put a top on straight away, unless it's sunk into the skin or you rub it in, it's going to transfer onto your clothes. That is life. like. That's just how it is. In terms of smell, like I said, it hasn't got the strongest smell. So if you love a light fragrance, you don't want an overpowering smell, then this deodorant will be for you. I personally like a little bit more of a smell. Like I said, I like to smell my deodorant throughout the day. Um, but I'd love to try the bergamot fragrance next time because that's one of my favorite smells in the whole world. What I will say is this has been in my handbag all day. It's been about 24, 25 degrees outside and it has not melted at all. As you can see, still nice and solid. 
my deodorant I made below. It does tend to melt a little bit if I keep it in the heat. Um, I like to keep that in the fridge. This one hasn't been kept in the fridge and it stayed nice and solid. Probably because of the wax it uses in the ingredients and the seed oils, that kind of thing keeps it more compact than my personal homemade one. So the one thing I'm gonna quickly try is something most people find a bit taboo and that is putting deodorant over the top of already applied deodorant. Did a bit of a workout, had a bit of a sweat, got a bit hot, and say for example, you've done a workout and you need to quickly rush off. If you haven't got time to have a shower. Everyone is guilty of doing this once in their life. You're going to reapply your deodorant, aren't you? So I'm just gonna quickly reapply on both sides and see if it's covered up the smell. Well, I've never spent so long in my life sniffing my own arm here. Okay, so the fragrance from the rose has come back a little bit. It hasn't completely covered my own um, natural smell because only a shower is going to do that. But it has refreshed it and it doesn't smell bad. If I went to give someone a hug now, they wouldn't be like, oh my god, you stink. Do you know what I mean? If you do like something with a very, very strong fragrance, um, obviously you can try making your own deodorant with similar ingredients that this one uses. Um, and just using a lot of essential oils. But if you love a light fragrance, then this is perfect for you. Um, because it's not square, it hasn't got any sharp corners, this would just fit nicely into one of my little side pockets in my bag or in my rucksack. The top doesn't come off easily, like some deodorant's lids fall off. I have to literally pull this off. Um, it's not hard to get off, but it stays on nicely. The bottom, tiny bit loose but it doesn't turn on its own overall i'm really really happy with the product it's easy to use it's nice and lightweight it sinks into the skin after about 15 minutes i would say and i'm going to keep using it um you do have to pay a little bit more than a normal deodorant from the refills obviously six pound is a bit more than a pound shop deodorant but like i say it's better for your skin and surely putting natural products on your skin is worth the money as well Obviously I don't do everything natural in life, there are some things I use which do have chemicals but I am trying, this is just the beginning of my natural journey and let me know how you get on with using it as well. So if you love the idea of using this product and other natural products on your skin, please give my page a subscribe so you can see lots of new videos about natural products. Give my video a big thumbs up, thank you! And all the details about the wild deodorant are listed just below. I really hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you really soon. Ciao!